In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this poster step by step in Photoshop. First step from the file, new, create a new document with 1084 width and height and press create. Then from the layers panel, active this layer, go to the toolbar and change the foreground color to this one press ok and after that press and hold alt and backspace on your keyboard to change the background color from the layers panel if you notice it's a regular layer and we have to make it a background so make sure that this layer is activated from the menu bar layer new and choose background from layer press t which is type to shortcut then from the option bar i'm using this font i'm going to change its size to 220 with a white color do a single click and write m space n d just like this and press enter now we have to align it to the center so from the toolbar take move tool and from the option bar three dots align to canvas and align it perfectly just like this i'm gonna change its color make sure that its layer is activated and from the properties panel i'm gonna change it to this color pressing ok go to the toolbar take rectangle tool and from the option bar make sure that set it to shape not path and change fill color to this one exactly this color press ok without any stroke do a single click i'm going for 50 for width then 400 for height pressing ok taking my move tool and adjust its position just like this we need another shape for a bound part we need an ellipse again go to the toolbar right click choose ellipse tool with the same option bar do a single click and this time i'm going for 64 width and 64 height and pressing ok take move tool and move it right here just like this perfectly aligned actually i like to move it a little bit bound it's okay go to the layers panel active text layer and press and hold ctrl command j to make a copy of this layer and after that drag and drop it to the topmost layer just like this double click on its thumbnail and from the option bar i'm going to change its color to a white one press ok and after that change its size to 30 press ok take move tool and i'm going to move it right here double click and change this to never or actually never mind press enter control command t we have to rotate it press and hold shift move your cursor right here and rotate it just like this and adjust its position right here press ok it's time to add another rectangle actually similar to a lane right here i'm gonna zoom in just like this active the topmost layer from the toolbar take rectangle tool and again from the option bar make sure that it's set to shape with a white fill color I'm gonna create a rectangle just like this all right it's fine but i like to move it a little bit to the left side so from the layers panel active both of the layers with pressing ctrl command and do a single click and i'm gonna move it with my arrow keys just right here it's fine pressing ctrl command zero to fit it on the screen it's time to work on top and bottom parts so go to the layers panel active the main text press and hold ctrl command j and we have to convert the text layer to a shape layer so right click and choose convert to shape press ctrl command t i'm gonna move it right here so we can see what's going on okay make sure that this layer is still activated from the toolbar take rectangle tool and from the option bar delete its field color and going to add a stroke with the white color and change this to three pixels in this part we have to hide some part of this layer so take rectangular marquee tool and make a selection right here just like this and after that make sure its layer is still activated press and hold alt and add a layer mask just like this we need two more copy of this layer so 
press control command j twice just like this i'm gonna move them right here so we can see what's going on again and actually moving this one right here okay now we should work on the layer mask so i'm going for this one active the layer mask again from the toolbar take rectangular marquee tool and select more parts for example right here we should add the selection part to our layer mask after that make sure the layer mask is activated and the foreground color is black if it's not press x on your keyboard and after that press and hold alt and backspace just like this and after that press ctrl command d we do the same process with the topmost one I'm gonna activate this one active the layer mask take rectangular marquee tool and i'm gonna select this part make sure that the layer mask is activated and again press and hold alt and backspace just like this after all this we have to align them perfectly so take move tool from the layers panel active the topmost one press and hold shift and do a single click on this one from the option bar choose distribute vertically just like this and of course it has too much space i don't like this i'm gonna decrease it active the topmost one and i like to move it right here and after that again do the same process it's much better pressing ctrl command zero from the layers panel active the middle one and decrease its opacity around 70 percent and do the same with the bottom part 40 percent now it's time to work on the bottom part and of course if you want to do the same process it takes too much time but we are too smart and we don't like to lose the time so go to the layers panel active the topmost one press and hold shift active this one press ctrl command j and immediately after that press and hold ctrl command t right click and choose flip vertical and i'm gonna move it with my arrow keys press shift and bottom arrow keys and i'm going to move it right here just like this and press enter let's group these shapes active topmost one press and hold shift and do a single click and after that press ctrl command let's add a cool texture to our main text active the text this one right click and convert it to a smart object from the menu bar filter and choose filter gallery gonna move it right here from the sketch folder choose this one reticulation and you can change its settings as you wish i'm gonna leave it right here 445 and pressing ok you can actually add this texture to your rectangle and ellipse so easy all you need to do just make sure that it's activated press and hold ctrl command alt f on your keyboard and as you see you don't need to do the same process again and it's a shortcut to apply your previous effect and you can do the same with this rectangle active this one press and hold ctrl command alt f and that's it let's work on our group layer this one move your cursor right here double click to open layer style and add a gradient overlay just like this i'm gonna show you the colors this one for the left side and this one for the right side pressing okay actually you can change it with your favorite colors it doesn't matter it shouldn't be exactly this color for example this one blue another color you see it just depends on you and press ok after you're done active the topmost layer press and hold ctrl command alt shift e and that's your final layer for exporting and that's it if you're interested in poster design i recommend you to watch this tutorials after this one if you enjoyed this one please do a favor thumbs up and share it with your friends and make sure to subscribe for new incoming videos thank you and good luck